The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the letter of the Apostle Paul to the Ephesians. Do not forget, I say, that you were at that time separate from Christ and excluded from membership of Israel, aliens with no part in the covenants of the promise, limited to this world without hope and without God. But now in Christ Jesus, you that used to be so far off have been brought close by the blood of Christ. For He is the peace between us and has made the two into one entity and broken down the barrier which used to keep them apart by destroying in His own person the hostility. That is, the law of commandments with its decrees. His purpose in this was, by restoring peace, to create a single new man out of the two of them. And through the cross, to reconcile them both to God in one body. In his own person, he killed the hostility. He came to bring the good news of peace to you who were far off and peace to those who were near. Through him then, we both in the one spirit have free access to the Father. So you are no longer aliens or foreign visitors. You're fellow citizens with the holy people of God and part of God's household. You are built upon the foundations of the apostles and prophets, and Christ Jesus himself is the cornerstone. Every structure knit together in him grows into a holy temple in the Lord, and you too in him are being built up into a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. And our response is from Psalm 85. His saving help is near for those who fear him. His glory will dwell in our land. Faithful love and loyalty join together, saving justice and peace embrace. Loyalty will spring up from the earth and justice will lean down from heaven. Yahweh will himself give prosperity and our soil will yield its harvest. Justice will walk before him, treading out a path. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus said, See that you have your belts done up and your lamps lit. Be like people waiting for their master to return from the wedding feast, ready to open the door as soon as he comes and knocks. Blessed those servants whom the master finds awake when he comes. In truth, I tell you, he will do up his belt, sit them down at table, and wait on them. It may be in the second watch that he comes, or in the third, but blessed are those servants if he finds them ready. The Gospel of the Lord.